Guys, before we get our game started today, I do want to introduce to you guys a new function Arena Valor has just launched called the Valor Cup. All right, it's absolutely amazing. It's for any one of you, all right, whoever wants to compete, you can play in the Valor Cup with your friends. All you need to do is join the guild and then create a squad. All of those are free, by the way. So, and then you can just click on register now. As you can see, I'm already in the guild, and then you can just join the squad. Right. When you click on join, you can come into your, your guild and look for all the squads that's currently open and recruiting. Now obviously I recommend you join up with your friends and then just play for fun. A lot of teams are really, really easy to beat. <laughs> so you will have a fun time competing. And then the top eight will actually have a chance to join the Arena Valor World Championship to compete for the $500,000 US prize pool. So it's, it's absolutely insane. And I recommend any one of you to give yourself a shot, you know, get, put yourself out there to have fun, be famous, right? So, um, and then once you do, make sure you let me know. And uh, you know, uh, but in China, in Chinese, we have a saying called "hug your big leg," <laughs> meaning, I mean, don't forget, don't forget your Dave <laughs> once you get popular with a World Cup. So, um, a Valor Cup. So make sure you go ahead and do so. Sign up for our team, and it's, you know, join a guild if you have not, and join the Valor Cup. Another function I do want to brought, bring up is called the Arena Valor TV. It's actually a really cool function that they just launched. All you need to do is you can see, you can click on um, this little button here on the left corner, uh, left uh, bottom corner of your screen, and you, once you click on the little cup thing, um, it takes you to the streaming channel, and you can click on the videos. Um, obviously, there are live streams, for some, uh, pretty interesting. You can also click on the videos over here on the top, See, now we can click on videos and you can see it takes you to all the videos that are current training, currently training in Arena Valor, right? You can obviously watch the Road to Glory, Road to Conquer series that we made for um, number one. And number two is coming out soon. Right? Excuse me for uh, having a really weird schedule and I'm not able to give you guys number two. But number two is coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And stay tuned on Arena Valor TV, okay? Because there's so much good stuff you can go watch, all right? so. Uh, with that guys, let's go back to our gameplay and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yo guys, welcome back to this gameplay and here we have Superman in the all long expected, the all wanted, what is a better English word for this uh, hero? The all expected, no, the the amazing Superman, how about, let's put it that way, the amazing Superman. Finally, we got a gameplay. Um, I have played Superman for quite a few games. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get Superman in ranked. So I, this is a gameplay that you know brought to you by Assistant Dave. 
in the casual mode. Uh, now, obviously, that's why you see another Superman on the other side. Um, but uh, don't worry, when you, when you play Superman, uh, when you play casual in Arena Valor, you will still be matched up with similar skill opponents, which is one thing I like about Arena Valor a lot. So, over here you can see I'm matched up with another Superman on the other side, and my goal is actually not to kill him. My goal was just to uh, uh, clean, the, uh, clean the wave, which you can do with Superman were easy with the first skill, and that's something you always want to do right afterwards. You can see me come to mid lane and come for a gank, right? And as Superman, you always want to do that over and over again because you have your insane wave clear. Now in ranked, you don't really expect to see another Superman on the other side unless you're Platinum and below, right? Obviously, if you're um, Diamond and above, it's never gonna happen because of the pick and ban, right? But if you're if you're Platinum and below, um, it's blind draft. So you might have two Supermen. But you always have a better wave clear. If you go to lane first, use the first ability, and then you know two a couple more attacks, the entire wave is gone. Let's gonna see after a clean wave, I came to mid again and did the exact same thing that I, uh, I did at level one. So obviously, um, level two, I mean, after uh, I, when I return to top lane, I see a Zill and a Superman come in. And what happens is they actually get caught by our monkey right here. So I immediately come here to for some support. I missed my first ability and we're unfortunate. But this Superman, the fake Superman, has nowhere to go and the real Superman wins, right? So afterwards, what you want to do is go back to lane and clean wave really quickly. And you always want to do that, like I said, over and over again. Superman is one of the best wave clearer in the game. And because of the high mobility, you can put Superman on a split push and roll. Not really split pushing towers, but Mini is a person who go organize waves, right? He go to the top lane, clean wave, or team fights happening bottom. After he cleans wave, he can come to bottom in a second notice, you know? So we're amazing, we're high mobility, and then that's why Superman is strong. That's why Superman is pick and ban, um, is priority pick and ban, right? First pick or first ban in competitive scene, right? Doesn't matter which region you're in, in EU, in NA, in Taiwan. And you see here, a bunch of us just, you know, not a bunch of, two of us just missing all those skill shots. He didn't really miss, but then, you know, I, I become a noob, so. <laughs> Look at that wave clear, right? It's my first ability auto attack, not first ability, my empowered, my flying auto attack, and then it was my first ability, and then the entire wave is gone, right? Right afterwards, Superman is still trying to play with me, but I have my ultimate, and look at the Superman is about to die, right? So all I do is my, use my ultimate and just wait for the flying to be charged, and I use my all attack again, and he just dies. And then one thing I noticed, I will tell you one trick about Superman is, um, don't really use your first ability unless you're finishing one off, or you're just going for the wave clear, okay? Because your first ability actually has a high op opportunity to miss, high opportunity to miss, especially when you're new to Superman. So what I recommend is just fly and use your auto attack or your second ability to initiate and then follow up with the first ability because you will still apply the full damage, all right? Because you if you fly and use the first ability, that's fall person of maximum HP as damage. If you um, fly and use your auto attack, still does the same thing and then use another auto attack, I mean, another first ability, you will do the same amount of damage. So it won't make any difference. So make sure that um, you don't always use the first ability. Over here, I thought I was gonna finish him off. Unfortunately, Superman uh, lived with one HP, but that's more than enough for me to get him low. Our monkey finished him off, but what cost? Our monkey ended up dying. As you can see right now, right after the team fight, when I know I have nothing else to offer, I go back to top lane and clean the wave, okay? And that's something you want to, you always want to do. Superman, like like I said, is very high mobility. His wave clear is absolutely insane, and because of that, you want to pay really really good attention to wave management, right? Over here, I can see I use my first ability, get all the wave together, and then clean it. Where whereas the other Superman now I have to make his way all the way back to the lane, and then he's missing wave, right? And now, now after we clean the wave and we're back to full HP, guess what? We have opportunity to go wrong. We have opportunity to help our team to do something that's more productive to, to the to the to the to our team, right? To our game. So you can see right now the total scoreboard is three zero and one. Um, obviously, my unfortunately my flying was canceled by the slumber. But then we're gonna look for other opportunities, right? You don't want to engage on them, you know, when they have everybody here. So what you want to do is kind of fly away and look for a better opportunity. The best position for Superman to cut in is from the side where people don't notice what's going on. So uh, the other Superman is obviously going for our top tower, but I'm already bottom, so I can't make my, my, my way all the way top. So what I do is come over here, use my uh, ultimate to start off the team fight, and then use one more auto attack um, and then one more. But over here, I got a little bit too greedy. And then sh as you can see, another thing about using your first ability too much is 
you end up flying a little bit further up, and then I got, actually got in, uh, actually end up in the tower range, enemy tower range, which allow me, allow me, which made me take two tower shots, and then you know, which directly resulted in me dying. Uh, we're unfortunate, but um, it is what it is. So just learn from it, right? And don't do it again. But sure enough, our monkey is able to pick up an easy kill uh, after um, the, the the basic knowledge or understanding of you know the fact that Zill doesn't have anything else to offer. Now, obviously, after I clean wave, I, I know there's another wave on the top side, so I have to come clean it because there's the first wave was pushed all the way to our tier three tower. So just basic um, wave understanding, the game sense, right? You want to develop when you're playing the game, especially Superman, because like I said. It's very important for you to under, for you to pay special notice to the wave, okay? So after the wave is clean and now no, no, there's no more enemy waves, I quickly come to mid and then wait for my ultimate, which is going to be up in two seconds. You see this Linda trying to hit me, but I just try to run away as far as possible to make make him think that I'm not in range. And then the Superman actually, I'm, I'm trying to chase enemy Superman, but I think he ended up turning around and kill our Akani, which is quite unfortunate. But yeah, yeah, you got to pay for that, you know, with your life. So one shot away from death, our mid tower going down as well. Um, at, at this point, we're, we have our ultimate, but I'm not going to use it just yet because I don't have a good angle and you don't want to waste your ultimate. I prefer to start off the team fight with ultimate because it's a huge AoE pushback, okay? You can see right now, I'm constantly panning the map and see what's going on. I notice I can jump in here with my second ability to start a team fight and then Zill is very low. I circled around in the bush, use my ultimate to start a team fight. He uses ulti, but it's fine. I use my purify to make sure I'm not slowed, and so I can use another push, right? Because when Zill uses ultimate on you, and that's why you take purify, because purify allows you not only take away all the quad control that's already on you, it also allows you to be completely immune to any quad control for for the following up 1.5 seconds, and that's actually huge because you saw what happened with Zill over there, right? Normally, if Zill's all on you, you would just be constantly slowed, and you're not gonna be able to do much, right? But in our, in my cases, in my case, I use purify in the war end um, when the ultimate, when his ultimate was about to, uh, you know, to finish. So I didn't take any slow over there, right? Over here, this weapon is going crazy, and I use my one, my first ability, um, just to harass, and then quickly come over here just to clean the wave. You know, I just want to clean the wave here. He missed the cannon minion, and that's more than what I can ask for. Right? I don't want to fight him, and I just keep on panning the map and see what's going on on the team. Um, and I saw, it, I saw a wave here. And I would I and I really want to just clean this wave because clean the wave offer a team a lot, right? Over here, obviously, I still I see they're still pursuing, which gives us opportunity to help the team. You don't want to clean the wave just like 24/7, all right? Over here, look at the damage with my ultimate, the first ability, right? Ult ultimate, one first ability, and they're just absolutely shredded to no HP at all. Over here, I'm actually missing my charge and then uh, uh, one first ability over there, but it doesn't matter. And uh, this lumber is gonna die. Right? And another Superman came in, but he, what he didn't know is that I have red buff, and there's no way for him to fly when I keep just keep on all attacking him, right? So, um, and then with Mana Farm, I have this the other Superman just kind of jump into his death, right? And then right afterwards, uh, again looking on the mini map, you have a you're you're top, on top lane. There's a top wave that are not clean yet. There are two cannon minions here that you can you know um, use to leverage to clean the tower with. And then one thing with Superman is your passive actually works on the turret and it does tremendous amount of damage to the tower, okay? So make sure that, you know, sometimes I see Superman actually use ultimate to clean to take down tower when you're trying to spit push. That's absolutely okay. It's, ab it's not the best use, use of my uh, your ultimate. If you know you can use it in a team fight, obviously, you know, in imminent future, but uh, most of the time, um, there is not too many chances for that. Over here, I started with, started with, with my ultimate and missed my one more charges, but it's okay. And then um, we can get this Zill kill uh, on a Lumber there. Look at the damage that I did with my first ability, right? With my one passive and the first ability. Monkey swallow up was one auto attack and Lindus was dead. So over here, the Superman tried to run away here. Unfortunately, I jumped back in with one more first ability and the Superman is dead. And this is, again, why Superman is first picked in band always, okay? Because it's so strong. In so many different angles. In a team fight, he can disrupt your entire team composition. Like, you can get disrupt, um, you know, where your team, where enemy team want them, want themselves to be, because you can push them like just in random directions. Obviously, you want to push them towards your team to put them in a bad position, but it's really up to you, right? Over here, this Lombard is going crazy, going ham on me. So I'm actually gonna leverage this bush right here and use my 
I was gonna use my ultimate to push him back, unfortunately it didn't work, and then, but still, this guy just kindly walked me to death. Unfortunately, um, I got a little too greedy, and uh, that greed killed me. <laughs> so 13, 2, and 4 at this moment, as you can see, there's so much kills you can take, and that's why it's so fun. So if you have not done the Valor Cup event to get Superman, make sure you go ahead and do so. If you have not you purchased Superman yet, if you don't have the time for, for anything else, just purchase Superman, because I, I, I can promise you right now, it's you're not going to regret the decision, alright? It's only like, you know, $15 or something, it's really cheap for a DC character um, that, you know, and any other MOBA is not going to offer you a DC character for like, um, you know, for a MOBA, right? And then Superman that has you to fly. So it's, it's the most amount of fun you're going to have in a, in a MOBA game, in my opinion. So over here, look at the damage we have on first ability, that's why he's one of the best wave player. And over here, even though I want to chase Alindus, but I choose to walk the other way because Alindus actually have vision on me. So I walk the other way to make sure that um, he doesn't see me. And I jump into that bush because it's just a wild guess, right? If, if I was Alindus, I would actually hide in the bush to, to see if anything is happening. But then that Alindus obviously did not do that. So um, over here, the Zill is actually going crazy. Um, I was going to use my ultimate, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, to, to kill the Zill, I took way too much damage there and I have to use um, Purify because Linda's slow was absolutely insane. He has red buff and then yeah over here. I just it's just a mistake. So Once again Superman you have to understand your cutting time because if you're cutting at a wrong time it, You're actually just gonna feed okay. I can tell you that right now You have you have to understand when you when you can cut it and just be a little patient because because you saw a bad cut in time will just directly result in a feed you know because if you miss your role if you miss your abilities and then if they start off a CC on you before you can use anything uh, it really doesn't it really doesn't do much over here I just give uh, the Kali a suggestion of you know hey by the way Kali you can use your second ability because this entire the Kali entire time never actually used second ability I, I don't think he knows it's an active spell once you cast it he stays on you for a freaking minute so um, yeah but that's all I want to tell her you know to use your first ability the second ability a little bit more and again back to the routine fly first ability on the entire wave clean it this little fox lady has no idea what she's dealing with and then um, use it, try to use fox form to get away uh, he's going to be successful temporarily but I'm gonna have to use my ultimate because you're pissing me off little fox lady so over here again flying one auto attack with first ability and one more um, but unfortunately I missed my first ability over there otherwise they will surely die um, so that's quite unfortunate but no biggie uh, right afterwards quickly go back to what you do best which is wave clear okay clean the wave and start looking for opportunity you know to cause chaos on the map again um, one thing with Superman is your first ability at this point would do a tremendous amount of damage just by itself so don't be afraid just to auto attack you know and use your first ability because a lot of times I see you you know what a Superman would do is they will try to fly way too much you don't have to always be flying your 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 breathing ice your breathing ice I don't know what the first ability is called but like it's basically breathing ice breathing ice it's it's actually insane so insane so make sure um, sometimes don't try to fly too much right always be flying but you know when you don't have our when you see a buff like that, like a little vision bird. Don't don't be shy. Over here, I did a uh, two minute knockback, three minute knockback to his ultimate, and just roll around in the back and try to push him back. One more first, but the Superman is gonna die. And Lumber try to get away here. Unfortunately for you, not gonna happen. I'm gonna push you back as well, and that Lumber is gonna die, right? So I'm actually full build at this point, level 15, guys. Um, highest farmed player on in the entire game. Yeah, the, that's all contribute. That's all because of the fact. That I was able to fly so fast. Okay, I'm, I can go to different lanes and different um, position on the map and get resources. Over here, you can see how much damage I'm doing to the tower. This was one of my all attacks. So um, there's one more minion. Their minions still have two shots away from death. So I decided to come here and take do some damage to the uh, high ground tower and then use my ultimate actually because I saw opportunity for me to finish the game here. So I was trying, you know, you can see I use my ultimate and then look at the tower, right? Uh, just one more shot away and I. I fuck it up, right? I wasn't actually flying the war end, which is quite unfortunate. Which is one more auto attack with my fly mode. I, I can guarantee the tower is gonna go down, but that was actually quite disappointing. You see me dying, you know, we're sad um, over there on the ground. Monkey went in and killed himself, killed this along with him. Um, you know, we, we caught that 
in modern society, we call that suicide. <laughs> I'm actually gonna say it because you know I don't want to get FBI on my tail. But <laughs> but yeah, those those people who like to suicide and kill others, right? So yeah, interesting. But yeah, right now it's 3531, and I have 16 kills and seven assists. Um, most kill participation in the game, obviously. Uh, it's quite interesting because, like I said, it, it's so much fun. It's so satisfying to constantly push people until they die, until they can't do anything. So over here, uh, look at the thing about Zell is like his first ability would just slow you, and you just can't do anything. Lump, I'm gonna dodge Lumbers all right here, um, and Zell's ultimate will also slow you, right? So uh, another thing is, if you stand in Lumbers all for a little bit too long. You are, like you can, as you can see, like one second, it will cancel your fly, right? So make sure you don't just try to walk past it or fly past it because it doesn't work. Um, right afterwards, I'm actually gonna come to this corner right here because I try to bait this Lindus. Unfortunately, Lindus saw me walking through the bush, as you can see, he set up a trap. Like, hey, what's up, Superman? Uh, I don't really care. You know, if you see me, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean wave and uh, look for another opportunity to help. Obviously, this lady right here, Lady Fox. You know, um, I see, I see our. Um, Omega is going crazy. I try to help a little bit, you know, did not help me much. I'm mean, gonna use my ultimate right here because I really want to take down this tower. It's really important for me because this tower allows me to, allows our team to have a triple, what do you call, enhanced minion, right? So I, I, I think I end up dying here because yeah, Superman jumped in with a second ability. There's no way for him to escape, but I died with honor and pride like the Superman in the uh, Justice League, right? Die with honor. Uh, absolute, right? Yeah, did I regret trading my life for that third uh, uh, high ground tower? Not at all, right? Because now we have empower minion. Now we can end the game really easily. You know, obviously there are other ways around it, but I guess I was going ham like a Superman should in all scenarios. Okay, you always want to be ham. You always want to go ham. Because if you don't go ham with Superman, you will never know the true power and true limit of Superman. So make sure you always go ham. Okay, that's the point. All right, maybe sometime you fail, but you can play another game, right? There's always another game. So don't be afraid to fail, okay? Don't be afraid to be suck at Superman, right? To be really shitty, because I, I can tell you right now, um, I wasn't the best starting off. I'm still not as satisfying, as satisfying as I wish I can be with my Superman performance, but um, I can tell you right now, I'm already having a lot of fun, right? Over here, I'm using my first ability. Unfortunately, for me, Linda's used Flicker to get away. So I'm actually gonna fly to another angle. As you can see, I'm always looking for a weird angle on the side. For me to cut in, right? Obviously, <clears throat> this guy did not show up. They're all hugging their um, base right now. I'm gonna use my first ability to do a tremendous amount of damage to this Liliana. And the monkey's gonna die right away because he's a noob. Yeah, so like, you can see the tower is really low, and then um, I actually want to get this tower. I know I knocked them back. That's a mistake. I should have just used my ultimate. Um, but over here, I saw I panned on the map and saw the tower is really, really low. Just one all attack, and I fly and all attack. Sure enough, the tower is gone. So um, once again, show you the power of Superman pushing towers, right? So with that, guys, leave a comment down below of what you guys think about Superman. Have you purchased him? Have you owned him? And have you played him, right? Um, and what kind of other tips and tricks do you need to know about Superman? With that, Assassin Dave signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Yo guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Challenge and here we go with the Superman. Now you may wonder what the Ultimate Challenge is and you probably saw the thumbnail and he was like, Huh? Interesting. And uh, what it is, it's actually really simple. Now you go to hero practice mode, you turn on, you turn on the uh, uh, cooldown, you know, basically there's no more cooldown, and uh, you don't need the invisibility, you just need to turn on cooldown. To get yourself to level 12 and above, and all you needed to do is look at this minimap right here on the left. You want to get the small camp, you want to get the small camp here, um, here, 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 here. <laughs> I'm just pointing out. But you have, you have to get a small camp, and you get, after you get a small camp, you want to push them all to the base. Okay, that's a challenge. You cannot miss one. And the minimum requirements get all the buffs in, but then that's just too average, right? You want to be the best. And then how do you do it? You got to have a plan. 
Because the AI is actually really weird, like in this game. The AIs, um, let me tell you, they are not, they are not easy. They're they not user friendly. <laughs> now, what does it mean is, like, they all want to go back home in different ways, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and do the first attempt. Never give up! Never give up! Never give up! Never give up! We almost got it! We almost got it, guys! Oh! Oh! Look at this! Oh my god! Except there's one little thing that just that, that have to res can't resist the sweet smell of home. They have to go home.